Starting an Amazon FBA passive income business has never been easier. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can start with a low starting budget with under $5,000 in starting capital. I actually started my own Amazon FBA business when I was just 21 years old with only $2,500, $2,500. And that was for my first inventory order all in. And that allowed me to succeed and get my Amazon FBA business from zero to over 30K a month in sales, allowing me to achieve freedom at a very young age. Now to clarify, I'm not saying that you need $5,000 of available cash, of available savings. You can actually have about two to 3,000 in cash at a bare minimum in savings. And then the rest you can use, uh, for example, a line of credit, which would be lower interest than a credit card. Or if you're responsible with credit, you can use a credit card. However, they require the balance to be paid, you know, pretty quickly or else you're gonna pay huge amounts of interest. That's why uh, what I did was actually had a student loan that I used and I just took some money out of that. I think the interest rate was very fair, like eight to nine percent. And so that's why I recommend cash savings, which you already have or you're going to make plus a line of credit if you have access to that and credit cards if you are responsible with credit. If you're not, don't do that. So starting Amazon FBA today is more saturated than ever before. Yes, this is true. However, what people don't understand is that there are also way more customers with a massive growth in e-commerce. There are more and more customers coming onto Amazon, you know, and that uh, significantly offsets the number of sellers. Also, a big thing is that a large amount of these sellers are just Chinese sellers and they're not following my proven formula that I've personally used to mentor thousands of people. Here's a few examples. For example, here I have Lathe hit over $1,000 a day uh, with their product. Here I have Liz over $300,000 per year uh, selling between Amazon US and Australia following this method. Here I have Mike hitting 12K a month at a $3,000 profit. And here I have Catherine over $9,000, almost $10,000 in 30 days. All people that started just like you, who followed the right information, who did not try to you know, piece together all this uh, basically wrong information from YouTube and who followed my proven formula. So why is Amazon FBA such a good business? Well, the truth is, is that even though you might think that the best time to start would have been during the pandemic, that's not true. E-commerce is going to continue to grow. And if you don't start this right now in five and 10 years, you're going to regret it. I've had so many people that tried and they were like on their way to success, but then, you know, they might've had a failed product, which obviously we know in entrepreneurship, there are failures. Obviously we wanna do everything we can to mitigate, to lower that risk of failure. But still, you know, I had two failures before I hit my successful product. And, you know, the key is, is if you're following this formula that I teach on my channel now, and in this video, your chances of failure are going to be dramatically lower. When I first started, like I said, I only had $2,500. And so what I was doing was I actually had a window cleaning business. I mean, you can literally go on my YouTube channel just to, you know, to prove that I came from nothing. I was completely broke and I documented my entire journey to this day. I had a window cleaning business where I would go out in the morning and during the day and I would go and clean people's windows, you know, residential houses. And I would take that money and add that on and use that as my starting capital for my Amazon FBA business because I knew that I was not going to clean windows for the rest of my life. I didn't want to, you know, I, and I knew the power of online business and passive income. And so I was able to do that by uh, basically making enough money to be able to funnel into my Amazon FBA business. Now, obviously I'm not telling you to go out and clean windows, but if you have a nine to five job right now that maybe you hate, maybe you don't like it, but you know, if you show up with this renewed sense of motivation, knowing that, okay, you know, you're following a proven formula that has worked for thousands of people that has worked for tons of people just like you, you know, to succeed with Amazon, then it makes going to that job much, uh, obviously, you know, much less difficult, right? And uh, that way you're gonna be able to replenish your income as needed, even if you, you know, even if your first product doesn't work out so well, right? Even if, um, you have one failure, right? I mean, in the grand scheme of things, even if it takes you one, two, three, four, five failures, what does it matter if you go and hit six figures or a seven figure business, like at a certain point? You know, in entrepreneurship, you only have to win once. So my whole point with this is that I came from nothing. And even though I have achieved success and have been successful, and you know, I'm an eight figure entrepreneur now, uh, you know, for several years, I still know what it's like. And I know what it takes to actually achieve freedom with this business and just you know, with basically being able to coach anybody to go from nothing or from a job that they don't like, or, you know, from any kind of situation to um, passive income, a passive income business and being able to work remotely from anywhere, having control of your destiny and, you know, not stressing about like the just basic expenses of life. So let's break down how you can actually get this thing going for under $5,000. So your first expense is going to be your inventory order, okay? And of course this can range. Obviously if you go out and you buy a thousand units of a product, right? And, and just to clarify, 
uh, the best method for starting an Amazon FBA business that is the most long term is a private label business with innovation. What that means, and that is the, the proven formula that I mentioned, what that means is you find a product uh, using product research, which I uh, teach on my channel here. Uh, you find a product that fits certain criteria that you know is making enough money that has not an enormous amount of reviews and also that has an opportunity to improve their product, to innovate. That way you set yourself up apart from the competition. For example, I was just looking at a portable blender on Amazon and uh, you know, if you go and just sell a portable blender, obviously the chance of you succeeding with that is gonna be very low because there are tons of portable blenders on Amazon. There are tons of established brands. If you go and copy paste that and just put your brand on it, which is what private labeling is, that is essentially you place a minimum order Okay, it's an MOQ, minimum order quantity. That's like a, an Amazon FBA term for like the lowest possible um, order you can uh, get with like an Alibaba supplier. Alibaba is the website that we used to source from China. Um, and you don't have to always source from China. The rule of thumb is that we want to source all products from China, except the ones that go in your mouth or on your skin. Okay, just remember that just to keep it simple, uh, because it's just going to be way cheaper. The suppliers there, they know what they're doing. There's tons of good ones. So typically you would see a minimum order quantity of like 250 units or 500 units. Um, you know, rarely it's a thousand, but also everything is negotiable with suppliers. So, you know, back and forth, and I talk about this on my channel as well. Um, and of course we covered in our mentorship mastermind program, which is limited and we only work with people that are qualified. Okay. So just letting you know, like before we had a course, it was called Econ Freedom that was wide open to people, but now, you know, we've coached so many people and we really just reached the level where we just, we know exactly the kind of person that, um, you know, has the highest chances of success with Amazon. And we only want to work with those people because, because I value my time and I value my mentors time. You know, we have successful businesses, we have million dollar businesses, and you know, we don't want to spend our time working with people that just don't fit, you know, just, they're not qualified essentially, like they're not going to succeed anyway. Right. And so that is taught. Everything that I'm talking about is taught within that. There's a link for that down below and you can see if you qualify, uh, there might be a wait list right now because we only open it at certain times in the year for the, before the next mentorship mastermind round. And so everything is negotiable with the supplier, right? And no one's asking you to go and place a 1000 unit order. My point here is that you want to keep your inventory order between 2000 to $4,000 for your first order. Okay. You don't want to spend more money, even though, even though sometimes it's tempting, even if you might have more and you don't want to spend less than that because you know, the product's not going to be very profitable. Probably it's not going to probably sell for high enough on Amazon. So inventory order 2000 to $4,000 jungle scout. What is jungle scout? It is the number one Amazon product research tool. Um, and it's not just for product research. It's for keyword research, for finding, uh, uh basically hacking your, uh, competitors and seeing, you know, seeing their suppliers. There are so many amazing features in that. And I exclusively have used that tool, uh, for the past six, seven years, as well as our mentors, you know, they love that tool as well. And Jungle Scout on their site, their prices are actually more expensive. But because I have worked with Jungle Scout and I've recommended Jungle Scout and I've personally used it in my business, I made sure to ask them to get you the highest discounted link. So at that discounted link for about three months of Jungle Scout, which is enough to start, right? Because it's going to take you about a month to find a product, maybe two, and then another month to get it in. And by the time you get it into Amazon, it's about three, four months, right? So, but you don't need it. You don't need Jungle Scout after you found your product, right? You're most of your Jungle Scout use is going to be within the first few months. Uh, that's going to cost $159 using uh, my discounted special link that they created for uh, uh, the viewers on my channel. That's $159. Next, Amazon Seller Central Plan. That's going to be $80 for two months. And of course, you're going to have to pay for the plan every single month that you're selling. But, you know, I'm talking about just costs to get started. So it's $40 a month on Amazon USA. That's $40 for the first month, $40 for the second month. Okay. And that's, you know, that makes $80. Um, but obviously when you're up and selling, um, you know, you don't really mind the cost of, you don't really notice the $40 a month, right? They do have an individual plan where you don't pay a monthly fee. Instead, you pay a certain amount for each product sold. Uh, it's a very small amount. Uh, I think it's, I don't know from the top of my head, it's like a dollar or something like dollar to $2, but, but because you actually want to start a real business and you want to get to like 10, 20, 30 sales a day, that's going to be very not worth it for you. That's why, you know, the Amazon seller central plan, I'm including the professional plan at $39.99, $40 a month for two months. Next, we got three to five product samples. What is a product sample? That is when you ask your supplier for a sample, a physical sample of the product. You don't want to launch a product uh, without actually seeing it because then you don't know what you're launching. You don't know what you're selling and you don't know what you're standing behind. Essentially, you're putting your business at risk before it even uh, starts. So the product samples uh, for three to five, it's about $200 shipped to your house. Um, next, we got professional graphic design. So with private labeling, you want to create the best looking brand possible. And nobody's expecting you to spend an enormous amount of money on branding when you're just starting. You really should be more conservative with your costs. 
uh, when you're starting out to account for your lack of experience when you're starting, you know, just because obviously as time goes on, you know, you're going to learn more about um, what's working on Amazon and what's not, even with the best mentorship, even if you, you know, you do qualify for joining Econ Freedom or if you just watch my videos on the channel, right? Still, experience matters. You don't need experience to succeed. I succeeded three months into um, basically trying Amazon and I got from zero to 30K a month in revenue. You can take, you can go back to my videos back in 2017. Um, you know, and since then I've basically exclusively been talking about Amazon and Shopify because they just, they're just such great business models that anybody can start. And so my point is it's actually detrimental to spend more than $5,000 uh, when you're starting out, even if you have a higher starting budget, uh, because you know, it's, you don't have that experience and like, you're just risking a lot more money, right? Even if your chances of success are so much higher because you're watching my videos and you know, you are following the proven formula that has been battle tested by thousands of people. So professional graphic design for box and logo, it's about $200. You should not spend more than that. I mean, don't spend 500. Um, you know, you can find there's tons of freelancers on Fiverr and up, on Upwork that are more than willing to create a nice, um, you know, professional branding with a logo uh, that will go on your product. And that's really going to, um, it's going to be like your brand, right? That's going to be like your name. And it's going to basically set your product apart from just ordering off AliExpress or Alibaba and the other Amazon products. Next, you got your barcode. You get your barcode off of a website called GS1. And for one barcode, it's $30. Now they do have packages. So one to 10, um, from what I remember, it's like a few hundred dollars. It's like over, it's a hundred to $200, something like that. Um, but you know, the point is, is that you only are starting with one product. Do not launch more than one. Uh, I recommend just launching one at a time. That's, you know, that way you're not gonna be spreading yourself too thin. As the famous saying goes in entrepreneurship, I think this was Confucius or Sun Tzu. I have so many quotes in my head that I just confused them, but essentially, you know, you chase two rabbits, you catch none. And so that's why you wanna really focus on one product and you wanna make sure that, you know, it succeeds or you've tried it and okay, it doesn't work, then you move on to the next product. So one barcode, $30. Next, your PPC. So that's Amazon pay-per-click. That's gonna be your advertising budget. So when you're launching your product, when you've made your listing and when it's on Amazon and it's in the Amazon Prime Warehouse, you need to get the, you know, the, the, the gears grinding. You need to get the gears going, right? And so for that, um, you're gonna be looking at about $250 for PPC. Now, obviously that can fluctuate significantly if you're not responsible with your PPC, if you're not watching it like a hawk, especially in your launch days, um, that can become astronomically high. And so that's why it's so much more important, even more important to, you know, get good mentorship in this business and also to, you know, watch my videos, watch my PPC videos that I've made over the over the past few years. You know, not much has changed, but you need to really watch that and set aside about $250 for your PPC to get started. Next, forming your LLC or your corporation, that's actually like getting your business license. So if you're in America or anywhere else in the world and you wanna sell on Amazon US, you can get an LLC. That's gonna be about $300 with services like Law Depot or LegalZoom. And I obviously covered that with an Ecom Freedom. Uh, and also I believe I made a video on this on my channel. Um, but you know, the websites are Law Depot and, and LegalZoom, but you have to be very careful with how you create those, uh, your business, because you know, if you do it wrong, it can bite you in, in the ass basically. So, you know, you don't want to make stupid mistakes, right? Next is your product inspection. That's going to be about $300. Uh, and you always want to get an inspection. So before your supplier sends out your order to Amazon, you're going to want to hire an inspection company that will go in. They're going to send an inspector on the ground in China. Um, cause most of you are going to be ordering from China and most of you know, most e-commerce products are um, still being ordered from China and that's the most cost-effective and highest quality way still for products that don't go on your skin or don't go in your mouth, remember that? That's gonna be $300. And you don't wanna skip the step because if you skip a product inspection, your inventory might all be screwed up. You know, the, uh, let's say like we had this happen where there was one time where we forgot to do an inspection or just like, we just had an oversight and you know, uh, basically our product came in and all the welds were screwed up on the product. And so we lost thousands of dollars in inventory. And also we had tons of refunds and people that were upset. Now, if we had just hired an inspector for 300 bucks, when we sent that inspector in, they would have noticed that the welds are screwed up and then the supplier would have, you know, we would have sought reconciliation with the supplier and they would have either remanufactured everything or they would have just given our money back. So that brings us to a total of four to $5,000. Again, this is realistic and you should not, if, okay, if you find a product and it's gonna cost you when you're actually doing your like cost analysis, like $6,000, $7,000, $10,000, six, okay, seven, okay, but nothing above that. You don't want to, again, if when you're a beginner, you don't want to risk a lot. That's like walking into a casino and putting $50,000, you know, on roulette. You don't want to do that. No, of course, Amazon is not a casino, okay? Other things are a casino, like stocks and cryptocurrency investing. I know that pisses people off, but it's the truth. I mean, you know, with Amazon, you're building a real business. It's not based on odds. It's not based on luck. 
It's based on, you know, following a proven formula that has worked for thousands of people like Edwin here who hit $300 in sales every single day, uh, $2,847 every single week. Like Amanda here, who I taught, who generates six figures with Amazon, as you can see, $164,800 on Amazon Canada. So the formula works for Amazon US, Amazon Canada, uh, all the Amazon marketplaces. Like Kyrie here, who's on his way to six figures this year, uh, over $50,000, and that was within the first half of the year. They succeeded because they weren't reckless. They worked with myself and million dollar mentors. You know, they got the right information, the proven formula, and they took action. They took this business seriously. Now, it's important to mention with all this hustle culture and everything you see on Instagram, like, oh, like I'm 15 years years old and like I'm making eight figures with Amazon, whatever, here's my Lamborghini. Like, you know, the truth is, is that don't look at all that. That's all noise. What you need to understand is that um, this is a proven step-by-step -step journey that you're on and you have to know that you're going to succeed. Even though you don't, you kind of have to, it's like the law of attraction, it's manifestation. See it, believe it, achieve it, ask it, you shall receive. It's literally written in the most spiritual books in the world. So for that, you need to understand that right now to get this business going, you need to have an active source of income. Trying to do this without an active source of income will just cause you anxiety and stress and it's going to make it much harder for you to actually uh, succeed with Amazon and really achieve freedom. And obviously that's the whole point. So that's why whether it's like me where I did window cleaning or some kind of other side hustle that you have that, that you is a dependable source of income for you or a nine to five job that you have that maybe you don't like, maybe you hate, you know, it's temporary, okay? If it takes you three months to get this going, great. Six months, great. Nine months, great. A year, great. Who cares? Where would you be if you had started a year ago? Following the right information, not just drifting, okay? The cause of all failure is drifting. That's um, from one of my favorite books called Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. Amazing book, amazing book. Every every single one of you should read it. And it's single-handedly, honestly, what made me successful. It was the most um, significant book. And it talks about how the source of all failure is drifting. You need to be definite in your plans. And if you're definite in your plans, you will succeed. Now, to make all this easier for you, I decided to put together with my team a top 100 products to sell right now list. It's updated every single quarter. The link is down below. It's totally free. And not only that, it has three improvements for every single product on there. Remember I talked about the best method is private label plus innovation. So there's 100 products on there. Make sure you go grab it and make sure you, you know, really start looking at those products because, you know, every single day that goes on, uh, we update it once a quarter. So every single day that goes on, people are grabbing those products and, you know, they're going to go and make money with them. I want you to be one of those people. Don't be patient with this. It's totally free. Go ahead and download that. It's going to make it so much easier for you. And these are actually good products. I would not put together a list of shitty products, you know, just to basically go and have you put it in your email. DM me if you have any questions. I answer every single message and the best way to DM me is on Instagram. I also put my email down below and I answer every single email. Subscribe to my channel for the absolute best online business freedom content on the internet. I'm so happy to be able to do this every single day. I am blessed and I am grateful to be able to share this with you. And you know, I've made my money. I'm not doing this for the money anymore. I have everything. I have my dream house, dream car, whatever. Like, it's not about that. It's about your purpose. And my purpose is to help you. Thank you so much for watching. Go out there, achieve your freedom. Never take no for an answer. Know in your head that you've already done it. Just let time catch up.